and what is up guys welcome back to the Excel Extra Sub for another video hopefully you all had an absolutely awesome week this week we're going to be wrapping up this week's worth of videos with a sales video we have a bunch of clips to go through from December December was pretty slow in the beginning but as I expected around Christmas time once that Christmas money started flowing in there was a ton of eBay orders so we have a bunch of sales to go through for today but let's go ahead and jump right into it and next up we sold the Gen 2 strip metal iridium this is the one that had the hole in the back of it unfortunately nice little peekaboo there but uh still mint car in the packaging like i said in the other video uh the hole does not affect the car at all because there's two layers of plastic but uh just a bit of an eyesore on the back but guess what if you have a face down chances are you probably won't even notice it total on this order was 37 dollars even to a return buyer so thanks for that purchase hopefully you enjoy next up we sold a lot of 12 near mint to mint accelerators cards let's flip through them real quick it was a copy of the water realm which was my last copy at the moment then folding corners rdo6 the canyon realm Slam Ram Hyperpod, The Ice Realm, Air Refresher, RDO3, Windshark, The Junk Realm, The Cosmic Realm, and one of my last few copies of the Micro Realm, definitely one of the more interesting realm ideas, that is for sure. Total on this order was $54, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next to the same buyer also purchased two lots of 22 lightly played to heavily played cards. One featured Hyper Drift Tech and one featured Hyper Battle Spec. So both of those went to the same buyer. Total on this order was $56, even. So thanks for that purchase. And then the same buyer actually also purchased a lot of 40 more near mint to mint cards. I didn't realize they were broken up. But uh, let's flip through them real quick. It was Rolling Thunder, Monument Realm. Carnivorous Plants, Arrow Package, Second Window 2 Tank, RDO 7, The Blizzard Realm, Metalloid, Turn and Burn, Mutant Vulture, Neon Pipeline Realm, Vector Metalloid, Engine Elixir, Magnesium, Moss Gorillas, RDO 4, The Labyrinth Realm, Wall Crawl, Riveted, Balance Box, Nitrium, The Wind Realm, The Chrome Realm, Power Bomb, Spy Eye, Hyper Beams, Nightlife, Mega Charger, The Swamp Realm, The Cliffside Realm, my last copy of RDO 2, Excellium, Wheel Shield, Hollowback, Asphalt Anchor, The Solar Realm, Jaw Jammer, Ratified, RD10, and The Warped Realm. The total on this order was $97, even to that same buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Next up, we sold two more lots of lightly played to heavily played cards. One featured a Hyper Battle Spec, and the other one featured a Vectra Octanium card. Total on this order was $56, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold three heavily played foil cards, which were a foil torque spine buster card. Definitely one of the best looking cards in the card game. And a foil Hyper Reverb and a foil bootlegger reverse. Total on this order was $66, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that part. Next up, we sold a lot of seven loose, lightly played cards. It was cars, excuse me. It was an Anthracite, a Drift Tech, a Baseline, a Jackhammer, a Blackwing Synchro, an RDO6, and a CM6 Spinebuster. They all had minor scuffs and scratches. Total on this order was $56, even to a new buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed Next up, we sold a lot of eight more near mint cement cards, including some rare ones and some Excel chargers. Let's flip through them. It was Lightning Rod, my last copy of Sprout Road, Hydro Glide, my last copy of Navigator, Anti Gravitation, Total Attraction, my last copy of Vector Iridium, and Vector Technetium to wrap it up. Total on this order was $42, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold a big, gigantic lot of Accelerators near mint cement cards. This was the first part of the order, it was 40 near mint cement cards. Let's flip through them real quick. It was Racing Slicks, Rocket Socket Hyperpod, Sound Buffer, Magnetic Bounce, Total Traction, Endure, Buckle Up, Big Trouble, Spike Tires, Guts, Poly Alloy Wheels, Draft, Rubbin' is Racing, Slip Grip, Shortcut, Burnout, Recover Control, Lightning Barrage, Maze Minotaur, Carnivorous Plants, Stone Sphinx, Spy Eye, Pedal to the Metal, Tweak Box, Dodging Disaster, Molten River, Ice Shrapnel, Acceleron Virus, Camo Skin, Choke Valves, Impervious Tires, Mega Charger, Active Camouflage, Blown Hydrant, Smooth Driving, Hydro Glide, 2D, Spoiler, The Wind Realm, and Lightning Rod. The total on this order was $120 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully, you And the same buyer also purchased another 34 near mint cards. cars. We'll flip through these as well. It was Pick a line, Solar Flare, Spire Slalom, Anti Gravitation, Drifting, Mega Base Box, Pulse Emitter, Scorpion Ambush, Avalanche, Folding Corners, Frictionless, Rock Slide, 
Nano Parasites, Dual Driller Hyperpod, Gyro Stabilizer, Black Ice, Ice Yeti, Forest Inferno, Gear Crush, Cornering, Undistort, Proto Sharks, Electric Fry, Soundproof, Diffusion Glass, Escher's World, Stone Colossus, Emergency Break, Vector Thrust, All or Nothing, Bat Swarm, Hack Mimic, Behemoth Mosquitoes, and Visor Mask. So absolutely massive order of cards. I think he said he's using these to play the card game, which is pretty exciting. Total on this order was $108 even to that same buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold two carded cards, which were a CM6 carded high voltage that sold on auction for like $81, I believe. And then a carded CM6 battle spec, which sold for $42 even. So a total of like $123 even on the pair of these. Definitely some super sick Taiku vehicles. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed and next up we sold two more loose mint cards which were my last cm5 ratified and my last cm5 hollowback which happened to be a satin red hollowback as well absolutely gorgeous gorgeous looking model the total on this order was 24 dollars even to a return buyer so thanks for that purchase hopefully you and then we sold four loose lightly worn cards which were a cm6 rdo6 a cm6 baseline a cm6 iridium and a cm6 drift tech as well as a loose mint cm6 blackwing synchro Great little array of cars here. The total on this order was $51 even to another return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And the last purchase from over the weekend was two near mint to mint foil cards, which were the foil desert realm that we pulled in the three pack opening. Such a sweet foil card. And once again, gone as soon as I get it back in stock. And the foil reactor realm, another one. These, uh, these foil realm cards just absolutely disappeared the second I managed to pull them. So out of stock again on all the foil realm cards. The total on this order was $70 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up we sold a lot of 19 near mint to mint cards. Let's flip through them real quick. It was Draft and Pass, The Junk Realm, Nitrium, Under the Hood, Teleport, Emergency Break, Downshift, Spire Slalom, Carnivorous Plants, Iridium, Solar Flare, Meteor Shower, The Swamp Realm, Proto Sharks, Mega Charger, Wrecking Balls, The Ice Realm, Arrow Package, and Dodging Disaster. The total on this order was $31 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next up we sold two more Loose Mint cards, which were a CM6 Baseline and a CM6 Anthracite. These Loose Mint cards are going to be a recurring theme for the next couple of purchases. The total on this order was $31 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold two more loose mint cards, which were a CM5 Black Hood Riveted and a CM6 Baseline. That Black Hood Riveted absolutely gleams. Total on this order was $34 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Then we sold a lot of seven more near mint cards. It was Spike Tires, Tweak Box, Rev Matching, Ice Shrapnel, Ice Yeti, Diffusion Glass, and Molten River. The total on this order was... $19 even to another return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, a pretty big order of loose mint cars. It was four CM6 Blackwing Synchros. We have a nice little army of Synchros here. Then it was two CM6 Anthracites and my last CM5 Rolling Thunder. Great little array of cars here. These are all going off to Randy. So who knows, maybe these will become some gorgeous custom accelerators. The total on this order was $93 even. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, the last order of loose mint cars for the day was a CM6 Excellium, a CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech, and a CM6 Iridium. Great looking group of cars there. The total on this order was $40 even to another return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold two more foil cards from the pack opening. We sold this foil battering bubble card, one of the most beautiful cards in the game. The Cell Charger Hollows absolutely look incredible. And uh, the yellowish gold uh, outline on it absolutely make it pop. So battering bubble and a foil size scaler car and this one i have the same love for you know the purple purple and gold are two of my favorite colors but i'm not a lakers fan don't get it twisted but uh total on this order was 63 dollars even to a return buyer so thanks for that purchase hopefully you next up we sold a foil mint reactor realm card this is one of the ones that we pulled out of the booster pack opening Total on this order was $36, even when you include the card and shipping. Definitely one of the sweetest looking cards in the card game. What a wicked, wicked realm. So $36 even, so thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then we had two more foil cards sell from the pack opening. It was a foil hyper reverb card. Gone almost as soon as I get it in stock. What a sweet looking card. And then my other copy of the reactor realm. So both copies of the reactor realm sold pretty much within 24 hours. Gone and gone. 
total on this order was $63 even to a return buyer for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold four more loose mint accelerations cards, which were a CM6 RDO6, a CM6 Anthracite, a CM6 Jackhammer, and a CM5 Powerbomb. Great looking lot of cars here. The total on this order was $44 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a heavily played pile driver card. Actually, it might've been moderately played. I don't remember. It was definitely played condition though. As you can see, there's some whitening and stuff on the edges, but definitely one of the hardest vehicle cards to find that is non-foil in the card game. The other ones that are up there with it are probably, you know, Reverb, Cove Light, Octanium, so on and so forth. Total on this order was $23 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. All right, guys. So the sales from over the weekend. First thing is first, we sold four loose mint accelerators cars, which were a CM6 RDO6, a CM6 Iridium, my last CM5 Black Hood Riveted, and a CM6 Purple Spine Buster. Great looking group of cars here. Total on this order was $49 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold a heavily played foil card, which was a foil vector cove light. Well, it was either moderately worn or heavily worn. I don't remember, to be honest. But uh, still, honestly, a pretty good looking card. It just had a bunch of scuffing on the hollow. It's kind of hard to see. Well, you might be able to see a couple scratches here and there. Anyway, sold on this order was $20, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. All right, next up, we had one of the biggest near mint trading card purchases that we've had in quite some time. Let's flip through real quick. It was nine near mint to mint cards to start off. It was the Swamp Realm, the Labyrinth Realm, the Water Realm, the Neon Pipeline Realm, the Cosmic Realm, the Cliffside Realm, the Chrome Realm, the Blizzard Realm, and my last copy of the Micro Realm for the moment. So the total on this little stack of Realm cards was $60 even, and then the same buyer also purchased this behemoth amount of cards. It was Hardened Underbelly, Carpoon, Balance Box, my last copy of Navigator, Kamikaze Semis. I believe that's my last copy of Sprout Road as well. Night Sight. And then it was eight foil cards, which were a foil Strato Thruster, a foil Tornado Vortex card. Great looking card art on that one for sure. A foil Nitrox 3 card. A foil RDO 2 version 2 card. A foil Size Scaler card. Always love anything that's foil or hollow in Excel Charger. That is just a great combo. Those cards absolutely look incredible. So size scaler, then a foil bootlegger reverse, a foil home track advantage card. And the last card was a foil fog vision. So the total on this order was $236 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And here is the aerial view of the eight foil cards that he purchased. Absolutely love the hollow effect on them when they're all together under the light. They look absolutely incredible. And the last order of the night was six more near mint cards to another return buyer. It was RDO2, my last copy of the Water Realm, Sound Buffer, Hydro Glide, my second to last copy of Night Sight, and my last copy of the Junk Realm for right now. These Realm cards and Excel Charger cards are super, super popular. Total on this order was $28 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. All right, guys. Next up, we sold a lot of 20 near mint to mint Excelsior cards. Let's flip through them real quick. It was... A lot of uncommon cards. It was Tortaloback, Vector Excellium, Guts, Night Sight, Hyper Power Rage, Black Ice, Active Camouflage, Torque Rolling Thunder, Lightning Rod, Rocket Socket Hyperpod, Electric Fry. I love the card art on that card too. Hack Mimic, Escher's World, speaking of cool card arts, Kamikaze Semis, Blown Hydrant, Undistort, Torque Flathead Fury, Stone Colossus, Vector Magnesium, and Vector Technetium. To wrap it up, that's actually my last copy of Vector Technetium as well. Total on this order was $91 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. All right, next up, we sold a damaged condition copy of Reverb. The card itself was probably in lightly worn condition, but it kind of looked like the previous owner. You might not be able to see it when it's in this. Oh, uh, we can kind of see it in the corners. It kind of looked like the previous owner had taken some Sharpie to the corners, maybe to cover up some whitening, but... Uh, like I said, kind of hard to see on here, but uh, didn't feel comfortable listing it as lightly worn. So listed as damage, sold for $18, even to a return buyer, thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold two more loose cards, which were a CM6 Iridium and a CM6 RDO2. RDO2, definitely an underrated model, in my opinion. Love the, uh, the gloss black paint on it for sure. Total on this order was $47, even to another return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a moderately played condition copy of the Hyper Reverb Foil card. Definitely one of the best card arts in the card game. I know I say that a lot, 
but I absolutely love the hollow effect, especially the blue on the back of the reverb. It looks just like the Nitrox 3 Afterburner. And I'm pretty sure that's what it was called, at least in the Ultimate Race. But great looking foil card here. Total on this order was $23, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a pretty big lot of loose mint cars. It was eight total cars. It was a CM6 Powerbomb, a CM6 Jackhammer, a CM6 Ratified, a CM6 Rolling Thunder, four CM6 Metal Maniac vehicles, and then it was a CM6 Metalloid, CM6 Nitrium, CM6 Excellium, and a CM6 Anthracite. So four silencers and four Metal Maniacs. Great looking group of cars here. The total on this order was $108 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold another Gen 2 car. It's been a while since we sold one of these. I've been pretty lazy about getting them relisted, though, when they sell. So I do need to relist a bunch of these, actually. So we sold the Gen 2 Accela Charge Series Anthracite. Definitely a fan of the clear body. The yellow paint, uh, not so much. I think they probably could have gone with any other color and would have made this car look really sick. But I get it, the Warped Realm Accela Charger or the, uh, the Warped Realm edition of the car. So we sold the Gen 2 Accela Charge Anthracite, and the same buyer also purchased three Near Mint Cement cards, which were Drifting red matching and the cyber grid realm definitely uh probably the hardest non-foil realm card to find is this cyber grid realm right here obviously followed by like the fog realm and probably the storm realm and the micro realm but the cyber grid realm is definitely the rarest of the non-foil realms so the total on this order was 80 dollars even to a return buyer thanks for that purchase and next up we sold a heavily worn condition copy of strato thruster foil mod card definitely wish we could have seen a toy for the strato thruster um, I think there was a prototype floating out there at some point, or at least there was a photo of one, but uh, never got to see it in the actual Hyperpods line. Anyways, the total on this order was $14, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. All right, guys, next up, we had a buyer purchase a lot of 17 heavily played realm cards. So 17 out of the 25 realms right here, not too shabby of a lot. And the same buyer also purchased a lot of 22 lightly played to heavily played condition cards. So a bunch of cards going out here. I believe this buyer does play the card game too. So this is a great little set of cards. Total on this order was $62 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then next up, we sold another heavily played condition copy of Hyper Reverb Foil, or I don't remember if it was moderately played or heavily played. I know it had a little tiny bit of wear down on that bottom edge and then some whitening on the back. Either way, still a great looking card. One of my favorites in the card game. Total on this order was $26, even to another return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold a near mint to mint copy of High Voltage that was pack fresh. Total on this order was $29, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. We are out of stock again on High Voltage. And next up, we had a bunch of Teku Love from another new buyer. It was a CM6 Synchro, a Power Rage, and a CM6 Baseline. All loose mint condition. Great looking group of cars. We got Scirocco, Vert, and Nolo all lined up. Total on this order was $73, even to that new buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, next up, we sold four more loose, lightly worn accelerators cars, which were a CM6 Nitrium, CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech, a CM6 Baseline, and a CM6 RDO6. So the total on this order was $28, even to a new buyer, I believe. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold another lot of lightly worn accelerators cars. It was a CM6 Nitrium, a CM6 Spinebuster, CM6 RDO6, CM6 Baseline, CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech. You know what? They're all CM6s. A Blackwing Synchro and an Anthracite. So the total on this order was $62, even when you include shipping to a return buyer this time around. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Great looking lot of cars. And next up, we sold another one of the big boys. We sold this 3D foil light speed card that we pulled in a pack opening not too long ago. Great looking hollow on this card. Absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorites in the card game. Phantom Form is my favorite, but the light speed is definitely right there behind it. What a great looking card. Total on this order was $285 to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we had another return buyer make a pretty big purchase of cards. It was, I believe, 34 total cards. We'll flip through them real quick. It was Slalom, Aero Package, Soundproof, two copies of Engine Elixir, Avalanche, The Cosmic Realm, Reaction Time, Balance, or Four Wheel Steering, excuse me, two copies of Asphalt Anchor, two copies of Turn and Burn, copy of Synchro, which I think I'm down to my last one now. Then we got Simulator Run, two copies of Balance Box, Hydro Glide, Pedal to the Metal, Choke Valves, Rubbin is Racing, two copies of Wheel Shield, the Cliffside Realm, the Neon Pipeline Realm, Mechanoid Destroyer, Dodging Disaster, Sand Speed, Power Rage, Buckle Up, Hairpin Turn, Wall Crawl, and two copies of Endure to Wrap It Up. 
total on this order was right at $70 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And that is going to wrap it up for this video, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing all these items moving in and out of my Accelerator's eBay store. Be sure to stay tuned. We got some cool stuff coming next. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the like button for me, subscribe to the Accelerator's Hub for more Accelerator's related content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.